Hong Xiuchen was able to convince millions of people in China to join him regardless of the Middle Kingdom mentality, because he was able to take the core teaching of Confucianism while adding the allure of Christianity. But first, what is the Middle Kingdom mentality? For centuries, China thought of itself as being the center of the world, the main character in its own anime. Anything that China wanted, China got. If you offered anything to China, that's disrespectful. China wants, China will come to you and get it. So they didn't take too kindly when introduced to any Western ideas ranging from religion, allyship, heck, they even rejected the Industrial Revolution. However, a man by the name of Hong Xiu Chen would disagree. Hong Xiu Chen was a poor Chinese citizen who failed the lowest level civil service exams. After failing the third time, he would eventually go insane and have hallucination about being Jesus Christ's little brother and a prophet of God despite knowing very little about Christianity. So when he introduced the people to his Christian group called the Society of God's Worshippers, why did so many people follow him? Well, during this time, the current ruler, the Qing Dynasty, had been devastatedly humiliated by the British Empire following the loss of the First Opium War and the loss of Hong Kong. Most of the population was poor and living in extreme poverty at the time, much like Hong. So when he promised them heaven on earth, salvation from God, and extermination of all opium across China, people desperately flocked to him instead of staying loyal to their Confucius rulers. That wasn't all, however. During Taiping's expansion, they would convert more members along the way. New members would often be exposed to the Taiping three-character classic of the Taiping Sangjing. Originally, the Sangjing was used to teach people, especially younger children, about Confucianism. Despite being extremely anti-Confucius, according to Hong, God had acknowledged that Confucius made many points in common with the divine sentiment and reason, that they could be used and remade for the greater of Taiping and God. And so they did. According to Associate Professor Dao Du from Harvard Yenching Institute, the Taiping Shangjing followed the structure of the traditional Shangjing, but it provided its own historical ideas and utopian visions, which differed from Christian millennialism, which essentially means that Taiping's adaptation of Shangjing took what people were familiar with, but added its own propaganda and ideas into it. The Shangjing wasn't the only thing Taiping used from Confucianism. Many Confucius words were used, but their meanings were changed, much like what they did with the Taiping Shangjing. There was an examination system for different political and military ranking, much like the one Hong had to go through. So, how did this help Hong gain so many followers? Well, he took what people were structurally familiar with and understood, and built his idea of Christianity around it. This created a sense of familiarity while making it easier for people to learn new concepts using pre-existing ones. Essentially, 